He was certainly getting away from his pursuers on the short, steep climbs. Although certainly Rishi Grewal of the uh, Grenwall, I beg his pardon, of the USA was uh, coming back for him on the downhills. There he is, Grenwall 104 with Andre Gleischer. A very tough looking Czech and cyclocross star, as was. Converted across to mountain bikes now. Nice for the Fuji team. Just down the in the top ten here, towards the end of the top ten. Number 200, Gert Steppenbolt of Holland. That's where they've climbed out of. Here's Gould. Downhilling. Uh, Tomac is after him in second. That would have been a bit of a battle for third. Greenwall and Gleisha. Unconventional handlebars on that for a mountain bike, more like a stage racer's bars. Bear in mind as you're watching this that the camera lenses tend to flatten out hills so it might look easy there but I can assure you it's quite a terrifying quite a terrifying descent it's the sort of territory that perhaps cyclocross guys would sling the bike on their shoulder and run down but in mountain biking as number six Tomac John Tomac of the USA on the, of the rally team leads Tim Gould of the Peugeot team and the USA across the line to start the last lap and Rewall and the rest of them and Gleisha in pursuit. There's going to be, it's going to come to a sprint, isn't it, at some point in time? A sprint to end a mountain bike race, perhaps. Well, we'll find out in a moment. We're going to take a short break. Join us again on Eurosport in a moment for more mountain bike racing. Eurosport presents you with the Grundig Fiat Mountain Bike World Cup from Grosbeek in the Netherlands. Contestants representing 13 nations. An 8 kilometer circuit traversed seven times for the men and four for the ladies. A fast growing and exciting sport. Catch the fast wheels here on Eurosport. The Mountain Bike Challenge Cup is brought to you by Grundig. Mountain Bike World Cup, Thursday, 9.30 p.m., Friday, 8 p.m., Central European Time, here on Eurosport. Welcome back to Bassano del Grappa. This is John Tomac of the USA and Tim Gould of the UK leading the men's event, the first round of the Grundig Fiac Mountain Bike World Cup. Unusual there, Richie Grenwall indulging in a bit of cyclocross technique. Unusual, I, uh, I say unusual because it's not the sort of thing that mountain bike racers like to do. They prefer to stay in the saddle. Whoops! Maybe that is the best advert yet for getting off and pushing. <laughs> Michael Kluger, reigning Grundig champ, Grundig cup holder. Doesn't think it's below him to, to get off. And uh, certainly further down the field, no compunction about picking the bike up and running. Uh, 
No for different handlebar configurations. Meanwhile, in the women's event, Julie Furtado is out on her own. American, as the men said, Sarah Ballantyne next through. And then Regina Stifel of West Germany. Oh, discussed oh, knowledgeably oh, by the spectators, of course. 607, Cindy Whitehead. Another American. <laughs> 630, Sophie <laughs> Elgin of Eglin, I beg her pardon, of France. <laughs> 604, Susan de Matty, we've seen before. <laughs> she is a good climber. <laughs> I think that was uh, Carol Alexander again there. Isn't it nice to see you can still keep your jewellery on? Even while racing. Bye, bye, bye. Back with the leading men. Gould taking a turn at leading. This is Rishi Grenwell. Back in the saddle. One, one, two. Peter Hrick lying handily just outside the top five at the moment. There's Tomac. John Tomac, rally teamster. And a lady stands aside for a gentleman. Robert Gleischer, of Czechoslovakia. No, I don't know whether he's a relative, I'm afraid. I assume he is. People will do anything for a different camera angle, won't they? and the men's fields now well and truly tangled up. All the women, by the way, their numbers start with a six. The men's field of 130 was cut down from over 450 entrants in qualifying events. 79 women entered, 79 women started, no need for qualifying rounds there. 15 nations represented. And we do hope to bring you further rounds of the Grundig FIAC Mountain Bike World Cup of 1991 on the Thursday and Friday nights here on Eurosport. A third lap for some of these men and the second one for the ladies is proving a little, little wearing, although as spectators are handing out assistance without fear or favour. Improvised number plate. I must have lost it somewhere along the line. And Julie Bertardo. Takes the win. Now, 
is going to be Ballantyne or Stifle in second. Another win for Julie Furtado of the Yeti team. She is astounding. She isn't given the decency to look out of breath. And that looks like Ballantyne. Ballantyne's going to take second. From Regina Stifle of Garmisch Partenkirchen, West Germany. And they don't look too flustered either, do they? Now, here's a sprint for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Woo! Sylvia first, 647, Cindy Whitehead, 607, and Sophie Eglin, 630, in that order. Back with Tim Gould, who has now lost John Tomac. John Tomac has punctured, and this is the man now in second. Bleicher, number 15. Looking back to find that Rudy project is an outrider for one of the teams. There's the third man. There's the third man. It is now Rishi Grenoir. 104, you just saw him go through. 210 we haven't seen before. Zadro Bilek of Austria. Uh, seven years, I think, a professional road racer. Three Tour de France is behind him. And now there's Overend. Yes, Dad is sort of underlining the point I made earlier about people from other branches of cycle racing coming into mountain biking. Right. Tim Gould gets it. Tim Gould gets it. He's dropped Gleischer on one of the climbs. Where is Andre Gleischer? That's him. Apparently he muffed a gear change on one of the climbs and that dropped him away from Tim Gould. 104, Rishi Grenwell not looking desperately comfortable as he comes in, but he should do, he's got third. <laughs> Henrik Jernis of Denmark, cyclocross star coming in in fourth. Peter Hwick. Czech in fifth. There's Zadra Bilek. Number 12. Mike Closer of America. High fives all round. And there's Ned Overend. He's finished. Ned Overend has finished in, a quick look at the notes, 13th place. Uh, don't worry, he's a slow starter to the season. The Star Spangled Banner, not just for the winner, Julie Furtado, but also for Sarah Ballantyne in second. Then Regina Stiefel of West Germany, Sylvia first is fourth for Switzerland, and yet another American, Cindy Whitehead, comes in fifth. And it's three nationalities on top of the men's results. Join us again for mountain biking on Eurosport. Eurosport presents you with the Grundig Fiat Mountain Bike World Cup from Grosbeek in the Netherlands.